Israel while Israel is being attacked, while Ukraine is being attacked, while inflation is eating our country alive. I'm down here, and these are all. Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Former President Donald Trump there sounding off before taking the witness stand in his civil fraud trial in New York today. In his own testimony, he defended his wealth and business, denouncing a lawsuit accusing him of dramatically inflating his net worth, calling it a political witch hunt. The long-awaited testimony is about property valuations and financial statements. Joining me now on The Factor to talk about it, University of Houston downtown professor Professors, Dr. Dietrich von Biedenfeld and Dr. David Brandt. I'm glad to have you here both on the Factor Uncensored. President, former President Trump was a bit out of control today, and the judge had to admonish him and his attorneys as well. Is anyone surprised? <laughs> Not really, but let's uh, talk about it. Well, it's, uh, it's, that's his personality, and we, we know. And I, I remember previously saying, well, Donald Trump's not ever going to go to jail. He may go to jail for contempt of court. If a judge has a decision, that may happen. Uh, but jury trials, I think he's going to be fine because he's got so many supporters out there, it's hard to keep him off the jury. But here you have a judge making the decision, and that's a big deal because Trump is going to be on the wrong end of this. Mm -hmm. He's not going to he's not going to do well. And you know when he's when he doesn't get his way, he gets very upset. And this is one of those cases where uh, he's going to be very angry and he's not going to win. Dr. Von Biedenfeld, do you see him skating on this trial, getting off uh, other than, as Dr. Uh, Brenham said, possibly a contempt for not closing his damn mouth. Right. <laughs> well, the judge is already pretty fed up, but I don't think that's President Trump's game. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, he knows that he's got more appellate levels, uh, unlike Texas, where you know about the Texas Court of Civil uh, of Criminal Appeals and the Texas Supreme Court. They have a Court of Appeals two steps above this judge. So he's already seen in the pretrial motions that the judge is predisposed to find him guilty of fraud. He's already seen that he's alienated everybody, including the Attorney General. So now he's just making sure with over $37 million in legal bills paid to over 60 law firms, he's making sure that he stays in front of the camera so donors keep you know, writing those checks. And so when he goes to appeal, he can go forward. If he goes to jail, people are going to be out in the streets. And so even people that aren't supporters... And, and, and let's establish this because... Some people think it's a civil trial. Some people think it's a criminal. Is there even jail in the mix on this trial? What is it exactly for those who are wondering? Is it civil? And there are only civil penalties, or is it criminal? No, in this case, it's civil, but it gets convol convoluted. What do you think of 15 different trials going on in Manhattan and Georgia? But this one, this could one is only just be civil. monetary, unless he continues with the contempt of court, which I don't think the judge is a moron, even if his name rhymes with it, and I don't think he's going to be <laughs> foolish enough to try to incarcerate a former president. It's just at the end of the day, you've got the power of the purse with the legislature, you've got the firearms and executive power with the police and the judges just have their goodwill and robes. So at the end of the day, this would be a real push for him to try to actually jail former President Trump. So it's just the $250 million, but the entire loss of his ability to do business in New York State, his home base. And Dr. Brenham, break it down in the simplest form for those who've been following this but don't quite understand why he's on trial. Well, in its simplest form. Well, he tried to basically say that his uh, net value was worth more than than it was and so it in all honesty it was probably a whole lot more than uh, a whole lot less than he said uh, the problem is that the, the judge on the other side probably has has put his net value much lower 18 million for for Mar-a-Lago that's just way too low so that's where the conflict is all right well we will see you guys back here tomorrow night for election night thank you for joining Look us here on the it. factor